thought I'd make a mini update here on our chicken composting design, the, the new iteration. This is a new element I just added the other day and I thought I'd document it now while it's still empty, while it's still fresh, and then document it to see how it evolves. And this is after a few weeks of observation interacting with the system. What I've come up with is still the same basic pattern of adding raw fresh ingredients at the very top here and using gravity and the chickens to turn it, turn it, turn it down slope and then to have it finishing, finishing, finishing and then leave. In my past video I showed that I put in raw food scraps down here and folded them over and in. I figured I'd unify the waste stream to all come in here and then these long compost bins that flank on either side there's some stacked function that I'm trying to work with the idea is that as I turn the compost there are sticks there's napkins there's lemon rinds things that aren't really useful in the system there's a place for them to go <clears throat> so all the way down the line it's easy for me to toss them in and then as we get towards fall the plan will be to fill these with leaf bags and what that will do is create a channel of active compost working area in the middle that's insulated and protected from wind on either side. And this is designed in a way where in the winter, I'm going to wait till that truck goes. As the chickens come out and it's snowy and they want to go under the coop, they're protected from the wind along uh, parallel with the coop. So there should be some stacked function of kind of designing for the future that the winter is not super far off and that we'll need that insulation. The other idea is that I can inoculate all of this with wine cap strafaria mushroom spawn and red wiggler worms and it'll be in contact with the compost all the way down the line but protected from the chickens brows. So very simple, just two by four welded wire. This side happens to be four feet tall. This side I cut off some stuff that happens to be two and a half feet no particular reason except that's the waste cuts that I had and you can see there right now it's just starting to hold some napkins and lemon rinds from the last round of compost we picked up and so we'll see how it works I'm about ready to dump out some soaked grain for the chickens I'll take a quick shot of that soaked and sprouted bartered for red winter wheat buckwheat and purchased millet sunflower seed and wild harvested Atlantic seaweed <laughs> just to give them a nice meal and again with the design all the sprouted material at the very top of the compost conveyor belt that'll get turned and folded turned and folded down the line all eaten up by the time it gets to the areas where as it leaves it has way less uh, seed load in it trying to work this out that the timing is such that the compost gets interacted with enough and for long enough by the chickens that they have a chance to scour out every last little seed that they can. Ragweed seems to continually escape and that's all right for now. Um, but so far the system's been working really nicely. And for those of you that commented, hey idiot, you bought a bunch of roosters, you were right. <laughs> there are some hens in here, but as the videos progress, I'm sure you'll notice these uh, barred rocks will decline in numbers and we'll try to figure out again so definitely very very much still novice in lots of lots of ways with this whole system so thanks for the heads up early on and I wish you were wrong but you are not <laughs> the top of the compost conveyor belt this will be ready to go into the garden in 20 to 30 days as it gets turned and turned and turned and turned and turned down the line. Kind of insane. Thanks compost consumers 